A rare Goldie portrait could fetch up to $2.5 million at auction next week, a record for a New Zealand painting. But the descendants of the subject are upset, saying if they'd been given more time, they would have raised funds to purchase the painting themselves. Māori Affairs correspondent Tarina Kofai has this story. This portrait by Goldie of Kamariera Te Hau Takiri Wharepapa was one of the artist's favourite paintings. It had pride of place in a studio. We obtain everlasting life. And now the descendants of Wharepapa have had a special viewing ahead of this Tuesday's virtual auction. It's on the market, on the auction market for the first time and first time everyone's seen it really. When Charles Goldie died in 1947, his wife Olive sold the painting to Auckland's Jonas family. It remained in their private collection all these years, but now it's up for grabs, and the subject's descendants wish they had a chance to buy it. Yeah, I feel saddened that this photo is being auctioned. It is a tauma. With these pieces that are often held in private collection, there are always going to be descendants and hapū that would just love to own them. The painting is one of only four known oil portraits of Wharepapa. Two are in the collection of the Auckland Museum, the third in a private collection. This Goldie version is rare because of its larger size. So much connection and there's so much history and it all adds value obviously to a painting um, and the provenance is, is you know impeccable. Born in 1823 in Mangakahia in Hokianga, Wharepapa was a respected Ngāpuhi chief and accomplished orator. He was one of 14 Māori who travelled to England by ship, met Queen Victoria, then returned home to New Zealand with his new wife, English housemaid Elizabeth Reid. Goldie's oil painting captured Wharepapa in his late 80s. This one's getting up there in price, so whether they can come up with the money, but it would be nice to see that happen, obviously. It would also be lovely to see Te Papa or someone buy it for the nation to enjoy. And because the painting has heritage status, keeping it on New Zealand's soil is almost guaranteed. Just like the real Rangatira Wharepapa, his portrait has returned from its journey to Britain and is home again, hopefully to stay. Terina Kōwhai, News Hub.